Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Guide Forever and welcome to this tutorial in which I'll show you how to do the cloud save. So the Steam cloud save, this is a really good um, option to have when you want it basically uninstall a game and then you want to keep some config files just in case if you uninstall it back and stuff like that. So how to do this? Uh, first of all, we're going to have to mess with settings a little bit. We're going to go to library here in top left corner. Um, then we're going to click on the game that we want to enable the Steam cloud save on. Um, and then click right click on the game, click properties and then in the general section we're going to have the Steam Cloud option. It's available for every game and we're going to tick off the keep, ga keep game saves in the Steam Cloud for game blah blah blah. Um, so as you can see I already have some, <laughs> um, uh, some sp space used. So this is basically like config files, uh, maps and so on. So I don't have to, for example, if I uninstalled uh, my Counter-Strike and if I install it back, I get everything back automatically. So there I will not lose any settings that I had prior to that. Okay, and this is also important, of course, if you want to keep uh, the same configs and settings throughout multiple computers. So, for example, one PC, we're playing with some settings. On the other one, you would get the factory settings, but you want to keep the yours, you know, the previous ones. This is what will enable that. Okay, so once you tick off the, the Keep Games Saves thingy, um, you don't have to click Save or anything. It's automatic window. It will automatically save. So just close it down. Um, and then what we're going to do is, if you want to download the files from there, uh, we're going to type in this particular link. This particular link will be available in the description. And I'm just going to hit OK. And here we are. So as you can see, I have quite a few games, hence also quite a few uh, folders. I'm going to find Counter-Strike, which is right here. And I'm going to do show files. And as you can see, I only have one file in here, which is for my config file. And uh, this is for the save item shuffles. Um, so basically here, there are everything that I need to have in order to get the settings right. So if you want to download this file, just hit on download. And then you can just drop this file into a main folder. For example, for this game, it will be a CSGO. You can just drop it in CSGO folder. It will find the file and replace it automatically if you're using Windows. But I believe it goes the same for Mac OS and Linux operating system as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's very simple and it's just that. And I'll see you in the next video.